And we're looking forward to hearing about great family-based approach. And Zeth is here to tell us about that at St. Andre Bassett Parish. Thank you so much. Welcome. Thank you. Fresno, uh, right? Originally? Fresno, California. Fresno. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fresno. See, he's a big West Coast guy. <laughs> he loves the West Coast. But now you're on the East Coast. So now you're an East Coast guy. And I love it. You're a Red Sox mm -hmm. fan now? Uh, I've been to a few games. I don't know. I, uh, I don't want to. commitment. It's, it's hard because... I don't want to give up my allegiance Lack to the Giants. And, and yet, but it's National League, American League, so it's not so bad. Can I tell you, my son, <laughs> Ethan, I was talking about, that's his team. His team is the San Francisco Giants. So he'll be very happy to hear that. Yeah. Hey, tell us a little bit, Seth, about St. Andre Bissette Parish. Well, St. Andre Bissette is a parish. Um, it's a merged parish from three different communities. There was at, once, at one point three parishes. That was six or seven years ago in Laconia, New Hampshire, which is the beautiful Lakes, lakes region. It's gorgeous. And uh, we love it there. It's great for family. Um, and we, we, seven years ago, there was a merge, went, went down to, to two, two locations um, and one name, St. Andre Bassett. And, and then six years ago is when I, when I was brought in there and um, just kind of been working away at it ever since. Yeah. I find it to be ironic. Your, your name, Evangelo, uh, uh, bespeaks someone who is an evangelist. Uh, bringing the gospel to people. I mean, how did this all happen? I mean, is it just coincidence? How did you become <laughs> an evangelist? I suppose that was a trick that God played on me. Uh. Um, you know, I, did, I, in my, I had a conversion in my 20s, so it didn't mean anything to me until I was around 25, 26. And um, I never expected to be an evangelist, but um, that, that was the title that my pastor gave me. When I was hired to do youth ministry, and okay. then I was also the adult evangelist, and ever since then I've been Mr. Evangelo the Evangelist. <laughs> That's pretty neat. <laughs> what are some of the ways that the parish engages with families? Because it, it's so important today, and as a, as a dad with, with three kids, I know that we really need to get families involved. Oh, there's so much I could say about it. The, you know, We've switched over this last year, we, for, for this year, we did family faith formation for the first time, which our entire K-8 program now is a family-based approach where the parents come and um, the, the children, we all have a meal together and then we'll break out into age-appropriate sessions mm -hmm. with, with the parents, they, they're with me and, and then the kids go in different spots and we have a very dynamic approach to, to how we run it as well, but it's only once a month, which is a, which a, is a big difference. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that we're trying to do is give time back to the family. The society is constantly pulling everybody apart and it's very individualistic and, and so we've got, we, we drastically reduce the amount of times they come to us and, at the, and, and, and then when they do come, they come as a family, which is important. Um, so we're not taking time away from them, they're experiencing the formation together. And kind and of maximizing. That's the right. Time, yeah. And then 75% and then of it now is on the parents though. The other three weeks of the month, they're at home with the children, with their, own, with their children um, as the primary educators. And in that's the faith. how it should be, by the way. Is, Absolutely. Yeah. Is people yeah. think that you just you drop the kids off at, for religious education and that's it. But no, it's the home. That's where they really need to learn about their faith. Yeah, and so one of our goals is to, is to empower the parents, to, to give them confidence, to equip them, and to just continue to encourage them, show them that they're supported, they're not alone, just bringing the community together. As I said, it was three parishes that merged, and I'm from California, I came in, and I thought everybody knew each other, and I was the odd man out, but as I realized, very, many people didn't know each other, and so one of the biggest goals is to just create those friendships, to create connections so that the parents feel supported in what they're doing. And I, I want to add, I, I'm constantly saying that, you know, parents have a God-given grace that, that is something that nobody else, they can reach their children with, with the faith in a way that nobody else can. They can send them to us, and we could hit a home run every time, but, but it's nothing compared to you know, that constant effort that they're putting in at home. The, the seeds that, that grow when parents are sharing their faith with their children and living their faith with their children have deep roots. Mm -hmm. Did you catch that baseball uh, analogy there? Yeah. Hit yeah. a home run? Yeah, I, I heard yeah. that one. Yeah, I, I heard that one. <laughs> I have to ask you, you know, because at baptism, parents make that promise to bring their child up, their children up in the practice of the faith. How is this family-based approach being received at St. Andre Bissette? Oh, good question. 
we were nervous to do it. It was, <laughs> on the one hand, a lot less commitment, but on the other hand, the parents had to be there. Mm -hmm. So it was more commitment for the parents. Oh yeah, and we're putting the pressure on you to actually do the teaching. Mm -hmm. So I think that many of the parents were excited. Um, others were a little confused by why we would be changing the old CCD model. Um, you know, over the course of the year, what we found was reception beyond our expectation. The, the parents began doing it. It was very awkward at first, um, a little bit discouraging even at times, but as the year went on, there was more and more of a engagement, receptivity to the whole process. They were recognizing their kids were more um, actually excited to come to the faith formation program, which because it's not the classroom model anymore. There was a number of different things, um, and there, I think that many were um, were very encouraged by the fact that we were giving it back to them and, and giving the time back to them as well. It's one less thing, you know, with sports and school and dance and, and all these different things. The, as, as church, we don't want to be doing that. We want to be supporting and building up the family. And they, I, they recognize that. Yeah, it's been, it's been great. They've been very receptive. Glad to hear it. For you, what, what is success out of all this? When you, when you get the families together, what's success? Hmm. I think maybe we have two levels. On the one hand, we're, we're building community. So success would be friendships that are growing within the community, the parish community. They're seeing themselves as a part of a community. Um, that's success. And, and, and also the kids are excited to be there. It would be a great success. Um, but more than that, more than that, the dialogue of faith between the parent and child is growing. They, we, they don't need to learn the entire catechism in, in one year. What they're doing is, is planting the seeds of faith, getting in the habit of, of talking about the faith at home. When they have questions, they learn together. They're growing deeper and deeper all the time. That, that would be success. It becomes part of their life. It, it's a living, incarnational experience where right. Christ just grows. And, and his, uh, his presence in their homes um, is, is, is felt. You know, New Hampshire yeah. is a beautiful state and, and the Diocese of Manchester is the entire state, right? Yes. So is this pretty unique in the, in the great Diocese of Manchester? Are you doing something? Um, it's first? starting to, there, I think there's a, a bit of a tidal wave coming. Yeah. I, I think more and more parishes are starting to switch over. We, you know, a, a, the, ours started a couple years ago. I had confirmation and I had a small group of confirmation kids. The group was bigger. I was running a small group, round table discussion. Eight, uh, eight kids, s six different high schools, and none of them knew each other. Mm -hmm. and, and Father Mark, our pastor, had been talking about our need to do family faith formation. And so I went to him and I said, that, and I said Father, we got to do it. And that's when we put it in motion because they don't know each other. And, um, and then last year, we had already kind of planned to do it. And Bishop Labashi basically asked all the priests to consider it. He said his vision for the diocese is that all the parishes would switch over to a, to a family-based approach. Yeah. And, and by getting to know each other too, especially young people, they know they're not alone, which is so important, right. that they're not alone in their faith. Well, Seth, thanks so much. Where could people learn more about uh, the parish? Well, SaintAndreBasset.org is our, is our website, and there's, there's links on there to all different, different things, yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming from the West Coast all the way to the East Coast. Father Reed's probably wondering why you come from the West Coast to the East Coast, but we're glad to have you over here. Love it here, thank you.